guys thanks for clicking on the video it's logan back for another one so what we got today i'm gonna kind of give you the rundown of how this 30 day curl and skull crusher challenge is going to work uh how things are going to be measured and how we're just going to progress throughout the time but with this quarantine a lot of people have been doing 30 days of pull-ups 30 days of squatting every day 30 days of running a mile every day and just kind of doing various fitness challenges and although I'm still working and I don't have an, a large abundance of free time, I still do have some free time and I just got some weights, uh, just 25 pounders that I'm going to use um, to film this video. It's going to work. It's pretty uh, straightforward. I'm just going to do 30 bicep curls and 30 skull crushers or tricep extensions every day. Um, I'm going to film uh, at least one set of each exercise every day and I'm just going to kind of go through the progress, going to do a before and after pictures and also some measurements just to give you guys um, kind of a view on how I progressed and how things are working overall. Now, unlike a lot of the gym going population, I still do have a gym that I'm going to be working out at throughout this time. It's a... Um, I would say a step up from a hotel gym. It's actually at the senior living community I work at. So their gym there is still open and I'm able to use that. So I'm still going to be doing my own workouts, which is basically full body, um, whether it's squats, uh, bent over rows, um, overhead presses, uh, various things like that. I'm still going to be incorporating that into my, my program on top of these 30 30 bicep curls and 30 tricep extensions or skull crushers. So these are just going to be an extra addition. So um, it won't be just the work from the curls and extensions. However, um, since I am going to be continuing my same program, I'm hoping that this additional stimulus will kind of give that added work for my muscles. What's up guys, it's Logan here. Uh, this is gonna be the measurement portion of the video. So um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a quick measurement of my arms here. I'm gonna do it flexed for you guys, just so we can kind of get a starting baseline and measurement. All right, so go ahead and flex here. Good. So about 13 inches on the left arm. And we'll give that right arm a shot now. And basically the same. A little bit shorter uh, on the right, but we're just going to call it 13 inches for both arms. And um, I haven't done any lifting yet today. Actually, that's a lie. I have done my normal lifting, but um, that'll be kind of a side note um, regardless. But... I'm going to do my uh, first 30 curls and 30 tricep extensions after this. Just a quick note on my stats, I'm about 170 pounds normally. Um, I haven't weighed myself in a while, but that's usually what I am. And then I am uh, 5'11 for my height. So um, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for clicking on it. And join me on these next 30 days. For those of you wondering, I'm just going to be using two 25 pound dumbbells throughout this uh, journey of the next 30 days. Uh, this is all I have um, for weights back in my apartment back home. Um, so with the quarantine and kind of stuff being closed down, um, I'm going to do all of these uh, lifting with these dumbbells at home. Um, so yeah, these are what I'm going to be using and nothing spectacular, but it'll get the job done. Days passes by At most long for a place that they never find I'm afraid I wake up when I die And it is too late to climb any mountain Time is of the answers The blood running through our core It's best to not feel sorry when it's over So 
What's up guys, if you made it this far, that means you have made it to the end of the video where I'm going to fully measure my arms after the 30 days of 30 curls and 30 skull crushers. So let's get this started. Uh, if you do not remember, I measured roughly 13 inches on both of my arms when I had them flexed. So we're gonna do the same thing and we'll get this started here. So do it the right way here. Let's see what we got. So that's about quarter inch more. So that was 13 and a quarter. And we'll try the other arm. Let's see. That one is close to 13 and a half. So there we go. Uh, I got a roughly a quarter on my right arm and roughly a uh, half an inch more. So as you can see there, I did gain a few inches on my arms during the 30 day challenge. And I just wanted to talk about my thoughts and overall opinions uh, moving forward. So uh, just wanted to say how I progressed through this. So obviously I wanted to keep it interesting and still keep it kind of hard instead of just simply doing three sets of 10 on all the exercises throughout. So for the first week or the first seven days of the challenge, I did three sets of 10 for both exercises. The next week, the next two weeks actually, I did two sets of 15 for both of the exercises. And this was still fairly easy and not overly challenging. The last week, uh, I should say the last 10 days actually, I did one set of 20 and then one set of 10. Just to constantly uh, progress and kind of make it more challenging, essentially trying to reach progressive overload. One thing that I've always struggled with when doing any type of isolation movement is I usually get a lot of joint pain, especially when I'm doing the skull crushers. That gives me a lot of uh, outside pain on uh, my triceps or the elbow area. And um, I noticed throughout doing this that as I got more into the program, that pain and soreness doing the movements subsided um, very slightly. It was still there, still noticeable, but um, I'm assuming my tendons got a little bit stronger over time as well, which is something that's good because that's usually what uh, drives me away from doing these exercises in the first place. So from doing this, I learned two things about uh, training my arms every day for 30 days. And the first thing is that it really doesn't take that much time at all. Adding 30 sets, 30 reps rather, of curls and skull crushers added maybe four to five minutes extra onto my workout. When it comes to just getting extra arm volume, this is not that much extra time at all. And adding four to five extra minutes at the end of my workout would be very beneficial if I'm trying to maximize my arm size. With that said, I'm not sure if half an inch to a quarter inch extra on my arms is really worth it for me in that regard. I still think that I am gonna incorporate some more uh, single joint work for my biceps and my triceps at the end of my workout, just cause I did find it enjoyable to kind of get a little bit of a pump and do something a little different compared to doing just the basics of overhead press and barbell rows. But I think this brings up a good point. I did them direct arm training for 30 days and I still only got that much extra out of my arms. And for me, I always preach doing heavy compound lifts um, and focusing on getting really strong at pull-ups and rows and pressing and all of those things. Because for the most part, those are what's going to give you the most bang for your buck and hypertrophy. But of course, if hitting arms every day is something that you enjoy for doing training and it's something that keeps you compliant, by all means, do anything that keeps you active and in the gym. Well, we're gonna wrap up the video on that regard and comment down below what you think my next 30 day challenge should be. Subscribe if you like the video. And of course, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.